Hi there, and welcome to Little Data. We're going to help you get better insights from the marketing spend on your store. Little Data is already used by 300 stores, and we've been live since the beginning of 2017. We have a range of retail, health, and also a mix of one-off and subscription business models using our apps. And the goal of all of this is to help these companies understand where their marketing is coming from, where the sales uh, are matching into campaigns, and therefore which campaigns or channels they should be increasing and which they should be decreasing. So what our platform does is bring together the campaign data that you have already in Google Analytics, or you should be storing in Google Analytics, and that is dependent on whether your campaigns are going from Facebook, from AdWords, from DoubleClick, uh, maybe from some other channels, from your own email lists. Um, all of that information about what people are clicking on to come to your site and then what they're doing on your site should be in Google Analytics. The problem is that by default you don't have good information about how that's linking to the sales on Shopify. So the point of Little Data and what we do for other platforms is pulling in that e-commerce data from Shopify when the customer makes a sale, uh, sorry, when the customer makes a purchase and you make a sale, and linking that up with the campaign data that brought them there. And the key thing about this is it's not single channel. Um, in most retail businesses, there will be many different touch points that contributed to that sale. And so understanding the relative weighting of those touch points and how those contribute to a multi-channel picture is what we're about. The setup is pretty simple. You'll need to start by installing our Shopify app through your Shopify store. Uh, you'll then need to log in with your Google account and choose the right Google Analytics property to link to your Shopify account. Uh, and then the actual setup of the uh, linking between Google Analytics and Shopify and making sure that data is all correct is a completely automated process for you. Uh, the magic of the app is that we run the audit, uh, we, we add a, set up a test property. If you're unsure about um, how the test property is working, you can drop out the process at any time and just go and look at the data manually for yourself. It's all there underneath in, in the uh, test Google Analytics property. And then if you're happy with it, uh, we'll merge it live so that you can keep your existing historic Google Analytics data and also get the better uh, enhanced data we're sending. Uh, it's called enhanced e-commerce data in Google's language um, into your Google Analytics property. And then from there into some of the reports in the Little Data app. So that process typically uh, takes a couple of minutes. Um, it's reasonably painless, and if there are any exceptions, you're going to be flagged up on the next step, which is an audit. So um, as I said, when you're ready to go live, um, you <clears throat> need to make just one uh, manual change, which is to uh, go to your Shopify store preferences and actually disable the um, previous Shopify tracking you, you may have had there, the, the Google Analytics tracking code. That's because we're already sending it. We don't want to duplicate those transactions. You get into an audit page. Um, this stage, we've gone all the way through that process. We've got step three. The data selection is perfect. We've fixed it all. And you can go into the detail if you, if you want to understand what our app fixed in any of these areas. And, and these all need these are all little fixes that need to be applied to make sure you're getting accurate data. You can open any of these up and uh, explore. We've got some videos in there and some links to further articles on our blog. Um, and, and the key thing is we then check that data um, weekly, daily if you're on a bigger store and make sure that at no point you're just left in the lurch because the data suddenly um, broken, maybe someone made a change to your store. Um, we make sure that's, that's checked regularly. So the next tab you'll see is about the advanced data collection issues. These are issues that our app can't solve automatically and you'll need to do manually yourself or ask us to fix for you. Here we're flagging up three problems with this particular account. Um, the first is that they haven't activated the recharge integration separately on their recharge app. Um, that's a pretty easy fix. Um, they need to go in and uh, do that in the store preferences. Again, we can manage that for them or, or you could do it yourself. Um, then the second one is harder to fix. It's about making sure the campaign uh, cost data is imported so you can start getting return on investment information. And finally, we need to just exclude your company traffic so you're not uh, counting people within your company as visitors to the site. And there are six other checks that were passed here. Um, so your options when you get to this stage are either doing this yourself, um, chatting to us if you're on a pro tier, we can help you with some of these, the easy ones, 
Um, if not, we, as it says here, have um, set up uh, consulting packages costing from $399. So the next step is seeing a quick overview on the dashboard of how those main metrics are performing month on month. So this just gives you an easier way than Google Analytics to pull up comparative metrics for same month last year, same week last month, same day last week, and see a quick chart of the metrics that you've chosen, the settings to focus on. Benchmarking is where you can see how your store performs against similar other stores. So here we're not look, showing you a particular industry, we're just showing all websites, but in our pro benchmarks on, on the higher plans, you can select a very specific industry that you might want to compare yourself with. So for example, um, if you're based in the US and you're selling uh, fashion retail, that is a benchmark you can compare yourself with. If you're selling furniture and you're over 500,000 sessions a month, you can compare yourself against that group of companies. And that really gives you an idea of where, with your web development, with your tech strategy, where you should be focusing. Is it about speed of the site? Is it about um, building out more content? Um, is it about um, increasing the engagement of the existing content? Is it about changing landing pages? What, where is it you need to focus? Our personas are generated um, based on different campaigns you're already running, so this is completely uh, dynamic, completely um, customized for your particular site. Um, but for every channel where you have enough traffic, we will go and look at what aspects of that traffic made them more likely to convert. So in this case, we have a particular uh, persona, Mrs. White, um, who is uh, 1.5 percentage points above the average likely to convert. So, so they convert at 1.9%, um, you know, the average is 0.4%. So that's, that's a pretty big boost. And we can see um, what aspects that come from. So the, the biggest contributor is time of day. So the morning is, is proving a great time of day to convert people. That's boosting. Uh, Friday morning is particularly good as well. Uh, she's coming from Romania. Um, and uh, she's in the city of Collegian Park. So all those things are, are contributing to a higher than average conversion rate. And the idea of this personas is that you can then take those with your other marketing strategy and say, okay, well, let's develop marketing campaigns that target, let's send out emails at this time of day, let's, um, let's develop products specifically for these people that, that are buying stuff from us. So it's very powerful to take existing channels, maybe just referral traffic in this case, and understand um, how that could be applied to other marketing channels. So then we come to report packs. These are paid add-ons for our service. Um, so they help you focus in on analyzing a particular aspect of your traffic. So here we have a overall Shopify pack. Um, the packs cost different amounts on different plans depending on how many uh, transactions and, and sessions you have, uh, but they average around $20 a month. What you're going to get is four different uh, reports which go into detail about how your campaigns are leading to sales in Shopify. And we also have some packs for specific channels. So we've just launched one for Facebook marketing. We'll have one for email marketing coming soon. So let's look at what a particular pack would include. This is the Shopify pack. Once you've bought it, you can see on the left hand side. Uh, so the first stat at the top is just a widget showing you uh, the number of returning users versus new users and how the average order value is playing out. Um, then we move on to a report which is looking at the shopping behavior by channel. So we can split out here uh, the different channels as different rows, paid search, organic search, referral, and look at not just the people who bought from those channels, but how far through the shopping process did they get. Did they even get to view a product? Did they get to add to cart? Did they get to start the checkout? And did they get to convert? And that helps you understand, even if you haven't got high volumes of sales from those channels yet, are they likely to convert? The other thing you'll notice here is that the shift between different channels will um, be quite dramatic in the first week because our app um, reallocates people who have previously seen as referral or direct into uh, paid search and organic. Then we can look at the conversion rate by marketing channel, but this time comparing uh, previous week versus last week. So we'll see the changes um, and also looking at conversion rate as well as overall transactions. And then in the next one, we can actually look at that by campaign. 
So if you've tagged up your campaigns uh, properly from different channels, you can see which specific campaigns bring you uh, the most transactions. And this is hopefully something that you didn't have a clear view on before you applied our fixes. Finally, we can do an analysis of when users are most likely to buy. So we split the week up into different days of the week um, and then different time periods of the day. And you can understand for the time zone that your store is based in, uh, when exactly users are most likely to convert. And that again is to feed back to your marketing to think about when you might want to re-engage users, when you might want to retarget them on emails, etc. So, in summary, you're buying into little data because we're able to give you multi-channel marketing attribution, linking the sources of the traffic, the campaigns that you're paying for, with the sales you have in your Shopify store, and doing that reliably and accurately every day. We have data quality audits to make sure that uh, those data points you're relying on for your business decisions are always of high quality. We can then help benchmark how that sales and marketing performance is going versus other stores and highlighting the areas of your site that you might want to improve. We can then dig out the buyer personas from your existing channels so that you can uh, launch new campaigns or plan new initiatives based on that knowledge. We then have customer port packs you can buy which are very specific for a type of channel or traffic to get you more insight. And finally, we can offer account management. There's a certain amount on our pro tier, but you can also buy extra support and services for us, whether that's about setting up Facebook, analyzing your search traffic, or just getting some advice on how to make the most of Google Analytics. So we hope you can work with us soon, and do ask if you have any questions.